What's up everyone, Callum here, welcome back to the Tucker Jobs YouTube channel where we test tactics for Football Manager 22, 21, uh, 20? Did I start at 20? I think I started on FM20. Um, yeah, tactics testing. All right, obviously some people like it, some people don't, but when it comes to getting a broad range or a, an idea of how a tactic could go, um, then you're at the right channel. So this is a tactic for those of you that like the wingerless tactics, all right? So obviously you haven't got the wingers, you haven't got the inside forwards, all you've got is inverted wing backs, but obviously they're not wingers, they're defenders. Um, so yeah, very narrow. Uh, from FM base from uh, a Will 1981, I believe. Uh, it's pretty much in the top three as well. So it's done fairly well on their testing sites, but is it done fairly well on my testing? So we'll see about that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone and let's get to the video. So here we are and don't forget guys big thumbs up on the video subscribe if you haven't already done so and uh, here's the tactic all right it's called the diamond destroyer it is actually a zaz blue and if i believe it says here a martin snoop 433 hybrid so his obviously if you go on the website you can see what his wrote saying he's found the two best tactics that he thinks are there merge them together and he's uh birthed this one right here uh, hopefully it does really well in the testing because the teams that are involved in this test are chelsea watford psg and just uh, luton oxford and exeter as well so hopefully all of those teams are gonna do extremely well using this narrow tactic if you can download it guys all right the links in the description and it should bring you to a page that looks like that and as you can see Will 1981, Diamond Destroyer, currently third best tactic on FM Base. So yeah, go and check out that guy. Go and check out all of the other tactics as well. I'm talking about FM Base. I always keep forgetting, but get yourself one of these. All right. An FM Journal. They're not too bad. All right. We all, we all, like, we all like the football manager stuff, and it's got... It's got loads of things in there. You've probably seen them already. There's a link in the description as well with a, um, a little code so you can get a percentage off. So check it out if you want to. If you don't, all good. All right. So, uh, yes, back to the tactic, which is here. Uh, if you can't download all the individual instructions, are oh, advance forward left, advance forward right, shadow striker, Mazala, box to box midfielder. Roman Playmaker is, by the way, one of my new favourite positions. Love the Roman Playmaker there. Inverted wing back left, inverted wing back right, four playing defender left, four playing defender right. And sweeper keeper, sweat piece instructions, corners, defending right and left, and attacking left and right. And you're aiming for the near post, free kicks, defending right, left, attacking left and right. And then throw ins, defending right and left. Attacking left and right. Long throw-ins, guys. Back to the tactic. Positive mentality. Again, my favourite mentality. Fairly wide on the attacking width. Play out defence. Slightly shorter on the passing direct. So extremely high tempo. Low crosses in the final third with work ball into box. Roll out. Counter and counter press, guys. And then out of possession. You're using the offside trap. Much higher line of engagement. Standard defensive line. Standard defensive width. Much more often on the trigger press and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. But yes, there's all the instructions for the tactic. If you can't download it, if you can, remember it's in the link. So let's get this test sorted, guys, and I'll see you at the end of the season. Right then, so here we are, right? Back in the Premier League now, end of the season. Chelsea and Watford were the teams that were being tested, and they did very, very well. So Chelsea, top team. I like testing top teams, underdog teams, elite teams, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, Chelsea, yeah, if put a good tactic on them, they've got good players, they should come first, and they did, alright, 92 points, 11 points above Man City, only lost four games, uh, Watford on the other hand are underdogs, they are predicted relegation, so to come eighth is not too bad right there, um, they were pretty far off so seventh or sixth, obviously it's uh, eight points right there, but yeah, Watford, they, <laughs> I've actually done tests where they go down, alright, so to do a test and Watford to come eighth is a actually really good uh, in my opinion player stats guys Lukaku banging in the goals 32 for him in the league average rating Mason Mount doing exceptionally well getting a 7.76 Mason Mount again on the assists with 20 and player of the matches second and third belong to Mount and Lukaku so yeah those two did extremely well um Mount played I think he played quite a few games actually as both the striker and the shadow striker or was it just the strike uh, shadow striker so yeah he played two games as a defensive mid 
nine games as a midfielder and 36 games where obviously he was really good um, as the shadow striker. I was, uh, sometimes I've seen tests where they, for some reason they played him as strikers and don't get me wrong, Mason Mann as a striker, you could probably get away with it. <laughs> I've, I've had worse strikers do better. So, yeah, he, he could probably do pretty well in that role if you use him as a false nine or something, maybe. So, oh, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, did really well. All right, those are those two players especially. So, it's a shame that both strikers didn't do awesome. Obviously, only Lukaku being the more dominant striker, Mason Mount, the shadow striker, doing really, really well. Uh, unfortunately, no Watford players right there. So, competitions. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, they won the league and they won the Carabao Cup. So, they ended up getting the double, but... Runners up Champions League, runners up European Super Cup, runners up FA Cup. That's a shame. It is a shame they could have finished the season with uh, with five competitions under the belt. Five competitions under the belt are oh, nice. It would have been a lovely if they did, but uh, to get that far in all the competitions and, and obviously win two um, was really good. Anyway, in the Champions League, they lost to Liverpool in the final, but Lukaku did score the most goals in that competition. Uh, Super Cup, it was obviously Villarreal um, losing their English FA Cup, losing that to Liverpool again. So Liverpool pretty much dominated the uh, silverware this year, but Chelsea did fairly well. Anyway, uh, squad then, let's have a look. Best player was obviously going to be Mason Mount. You would think it's Lukaku scoring that many goals, but it isn't. Mason Mount got 20, 29 assists, 7.72. Uh, Lukaku played more games, though, and got 61 goals, 18 assists for him. Uh, biggest goal scorers after Lukaku is uh, Werner, Havertz, and Mount. 30, 25, and 20, obviously, Havertz would have definitely played some striker roles, some uh, shadow striker roles. It's got to have anti, got to have. Let's go there. Uh, striker and shadow striker, yeah. He pretty much switched between them. Uh, did did well in both, really. But uh, Timo Werner would have obviously played mainly as a striker role. Yeah, he did. 63, scored 30, got 10. But Lukaku was the more dominant striker right there. So, yeah, they did really well. Anyway, a lot of players chipping in with the assists as well. Mount Havertz, Werner, Lukaku all getting double digits. Um, along with Ziyech as well. Reese James doing all right. nice, all right. Very good. <laughs> Is that inverted wing back on that right hand side? So yeah, nice one, Chelsea. Full numbers for them guys. Is 194 goals, 67 conceded. Uh, not bad in my eyes. And if we go to Watford, they might have not got single players in the player stats or the top threes, but they did really well anyway in the league positions. Come in eight. Their competitions. Uh, FA Cup. FA Cup. They went out against Bournemouth. All right, in the fourth round. Carabao Cup. Oh, look at that. So the only time when Chelsea did win the Carabao Cup, it was actually Watford in the final with them. Not bad. Not bad, Watford. Right, so let's go to their squad then. Best player for them. Um, cleverly. <laughs> nice one. Uh, seven goals and 14. Cleverly would have mainly played as the uh, shadow striker. Must have. Yeah, mainly as the shadow striker um, as well as the midfielders. As well, biggest goal scorers for Watford, Hernandez, Dennis King. Biggest assists was cleverly. He's the only one with double digits, guys. Four numbers for the underdogs: seventy-nine goals, eighty conceded. Ooh. You don't like seeing uh, more goals scored against you than you have scored yourself, but sometimes it happens in these tests. You might want to just change a little bit more defensive. That's all when you're going up against some of the bigger or more difficult teams, or when you're away. Um, if we go to the Premier League stats and team overview, so most goals Chelsea coming first with 112 far more than liverpool second place uh watford their sixth best pass completion chelsea making the top eight possession chelsea again making the top eight and then fewest conceded chelsea being decently defensive there coming in joint fourth only conceding 39 goals in the league so yeah nice one in the premier league psg and angers are next and psg obviously going to come first but we like to see the big numbers in this as well we're going to see the big numbers angers being underdogs midish to uh, low table uh, they came third all right such a shame really uh, they were eight points behind second place but i have seen the underdogs finish in second place um, on recent tests. So, yeah, and just doing really, really well coming third. Qualified for Champions League at the end of the day, so you can't moan about that. Um, player stats, Icardi, you would think it will be Mbappe, but no, Icardi is the main guy. 32 goals for him, average ratings. You got Neymar, Messi, and Icardi. Assist, Messi, Fulgini. 
Uh, for Andrews, Nas coming second, 14 assists for him, Neymar coming third, and the player of the matches, Icardi and Messi. And then both goalkeepers, which is good to see, coming joint first, both getting 13 clean sheets for uh, both teams there, so awesome. Uh, if we go to PSG's competitions, we know they didn't win the Champions League, but they did win the French Cup and Trophy Test Champions, so they did finish the league with uh, the quadruple guys, not quadruple, treble. They wish they got the quadruple, but they obviously didn't. Went out to AC Milan. Um, squad best player was Messi. All right, 36 goals, 24 assists for him. Mbappe got 40 goals in all competitions. Icardi got 40 goals in all competitions. Obviously, you didn't see him in the list earlier because that was a league goals. Mbappe obviously banged in a lot of competition goals right there. Messi getting 36, Neymar getting 16 goals. Biggest creators in the team. Are obviously Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe, 24, 17, and 15. So, yeah, nice one. Four numbers for the big boys 190 goals, 51 conceded. And then you got Angers right here doing really well, coming third. Competitions, ninth round went out in there. Squad best player for Yini, all right, two goals, 14 assists there. Biggest goal scorers, Bufal, Ali Cho, uh, 13 and 14. Obviously, they're not going to be like PSG, they never are. They did really, really well. And full stats for these guys were only 77 goals, but they only conceded 47. So it's not like Watford in the Premier League. They've actually done half decent right there. And if we go to the uh, league stats, so fewest conceded, PSG coming first, only conceded 29 guys. Angers coming joint fifth. Nice to see them there. Most goals, PSG obviously 137. Angers coming fourth, best pass completion. Um, PSG coming second, Angers coming fifth, and possession. Uh, both teams making the top eight, second and third right there so it's nice to see that possession pass completion are all actually fairly well uh, sometimes with attacking tactics or tactics that you download you can't sacrifice a lot of pass completion and possession for all that attacking football and it's nice it brings you the goals but you kind of miss the football uh, you kind of miss the passing and the keeping the possession when you're actually watching the highlights yourself. So, um, yeah, overall, decent. Data Hub, let's have a little look at the match passes so you can understand the shape of it. This was the last game for Angers. Not too bad, a little bit tight at the top right there. Let's go to one of the bigger teams where they understand how to uh, move around the pitch. Again, not too bad. We know it's narrow, all right? And we uh, the Reese James and obviously the left back or inverted left backs, they do still use the wings, guys. Sometimes people don't understand. Um, a lot of you should, uh, but inverted wing backs don't just stay in the middle. They, they still use the wings. They still go out wide and they still do the job of a wing back, but they just come in as well. So it's a little bit of both. So they did really, really well. Let's have a look at uh, PSG's data hub and last match passes so again there's the shape pretty much similar but you can see the wing backs there hakimi uh and mendez using the left and right so they do make the attacking moves don't worry about that if you're thinking oh i don't really like the inverted wing back position it's just become a really used position now in tactics testing and a lot of tactics that you download seem to have inverted wing backs and in my opinion i think they're really good because they stay narrow they come out wide, they attack wide, they come inside. They, they do everything. You need a lot of work rate. I think they're really good. Um, but yeah, you've uh, got a really good position there. So overall, not too bad. Let's go to the lower leagues then. Luton in the championship. All right, coming fifth, missing out in the playoffs. That's a shame, but good position. Oxford coming first. Nice one. And then Exeter all the way down the league to also coming first with this tactic. So overall... Success, right? Definitely. All right, this tactic's done really, really well. So hopefully when you download it, and hopefully you do download it, um, it's going to work just as good for you and your team as well. Obviously, if you're going to use a narrow tactic, let's start bringing in the players, guys, that are going to suit the tactic. It's nice doing tactics tests like this, but it's always going to do better if you actually have players that suit the tactic as well. All good. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget, you can download it at FM Base. Go over there. And if you fancy yourself a little bit of merchandise, then check out their FM Journal as well. Uh, again, links and code is in the description. Uh, so, yeah, enjoy the tactic, guys. Have fun on your game. I'm Callum. This is Tucker Jobs. And, uh, yeah, see you later. Bye.